This week, President Obama and the Israeli Prime Minister discussed when and whether to go to war to stop Iran from building a nuclear weapon. Well, today, six nations, including the U.S., Russia, and China, urged Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad to open his nuclear facilities to inspectors. Tonight, we're going to hear from a man who usually knows the most and says the least. He's Meyer Dagan, the former head of Israeli intelligence. In a rare interview for 60 Minutes, Leslie Stahl asked Dagan about the question of war. You have said publicly that bombing Iran now is the stupidest idea you've ever heard. That's a direct quote. An attack on Iran before you were exploring all other approaches is not the right way how to do it. The dispute seems to come down, though, to whether you are at the end of everything that you can try or whether you have a lot of time left to try other things, which seems to be your position. I never said that it's a lot of time, but I think that... Well, more time. More time. For nearly a decade, buying more time was his job. The Iranians say Dagan dispatched assassins, faulty equipment, and computer viruses to sabotage their nuclear program. All the while, he was poring over the most secret dossiers about the Iranian regime, gaining insights and a surprising appreciation. The regime in Iran is a very rational regime. Do you think Ahmadinejad is, a, is rational? The answer is yes. Not exactly our rationale, but I think that he is rational. Do you think they're rational enough that they are capable of backing down from this? No doubt that the, the Iranian regime is maybe not exactly rational based on what I call Western thinking. But no doubt that they are considering all the implications of their action. So, Leslie, there has been a lot of speculation about whether Israel would go it alone, would attack Iran all on its own. What does Mayor Dagan say about that? Well, he, he thinks it's a mistake generally to make it an Israeli-Iranian issue. It should be an international issue. Somehow the Saudis should be encouraged to speak up and pressure the United States. And what he really would like to happen is Israel sits back and the Americans do it for the Israelis. It's, it's, it would then be internationalized. He knows that Israel will be attacked, whoever does it, but they'll be attacked less. And what he's most worried about is the retaliation. Leslie, thanks very much.